Dear students, warm greetings. I am your science teacher, Noshi Nandravi. Today we are going to learn our chapter, Where does our food come from? In this chapter, the topics covered will be Food, its sources and importance Food from plants Food from animals Feeding habits of animals So, let us discuss them one by one. Food is the basic necessity of life. We love to have various delicacies and we also are having our favorite foods. But how do we define food? Food is any nourishing substance which provides us energy and that helps us to carry out vital life activities. But have you ever thought the food that we have in our breakfast, lunch, dinner, where does this food come from? Now, maybe you might be thinking about kitchen, a grocery store, or from a market. But before that, where do they obtain food? Now, let us see some of the food items which we eat in our breakfast, like bread, butter, cornflakes, milk, eggs, etc. Let us check their source. When we talk about bread, it is made from wheat flour, which is a plant product. And when we talk about butter, which is made from milk, it is an animal product. Similarly, eggs again are an animal product. So by now, you might got an idea that this food is either coming from plant source or an animal source. So it's clear now, we are having two main sources of our food plant sources and animal sources. Let's learn about the importance of food. Food helps us to grow. Children, the clothes which you were wearing in class third might not fit you today. It's all because you have grown in size. Your height has increased. Food also helps us to perform various activities like playing, writing and many other activities of our daily routine that we perform are all based on our energy needs and that energy is provided by the food that we eat. Food also helps our body to remain healthy. The food protects our body from various diseases and also it protects us from any kind of injury. Suppose you are playing or you might get hurt or any bruise on your body, it gets healed or repaired automatically or it gets healed itself. How is it possible? It is all because of the food that you eat. This food contains some important components inside them and these components are called nutrients. These nutrients like fats, carbohydrates, proteins and vitamins. They are all very essential for the normal growth and survival of our body and all these are just enhancing our body for performing various life activities whether it is in our daily routine or doing any other physical exercise which is sternness or any other activity and that is why it is often said we must include a variety of food items in our diet and this variety adds various nutrients in our body and helps us to perform activities in a good manner so dear children, let's learn about food from plants. Dear children, now that you are aware that food either comes from plants or animals, but have you ever thought where do these plants obtain their food? Have you ever seen any plant going to the market and purchasing food for it? Seems funny. No, you won't see these plants going to the market and getting food for it. But instead, they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Photo meaning light and synthesis means to produce. So photosynthesis is the process in which plants manufacture their own food using the raw materials in the nature like carbon dioxide, water in presence of sunlight. That is why plants are also called as producers or autotrophs. Let's now learn about the different parts of the plant that are eaten as food. These are seeds, fruits, vegetables. Now, let us discuss them one by one. Talking about seeds, 
we know these are an important part of our food. Seeds comprises of cereals, pulses, spices, nuts and cooking oils. When we talk about cereals, cereals are energy giving food. Cereals are obtained from the plants like rice, wheat, maize. Your favorite food might be noodles, cakes, macaroni. They are all made of wheat flour. Popcorn obtained from corn. So these are all energy giving foods. Coming to the next category that is pulses. Pulses are bodybuilding food. Pulses that we eat usually are black gram, green gram, chickpea, lentils and our favorite rajma or kidney beans. Talking about nuts like cashew nuts, almonds, walnuts, these are all the nuts which we relish to eat, which we enjoy to eat. Coming to the spices, they add flavor to our food. And the seed spices that we usually eat are cardamom, fennel, black pepper, etc. Talking about cooking oils, which are obtained from the seeds of mustard, groundnut, coconut, which are used for cooking purposes. Dear students, you might have heard about the germinated seeds and which are regarded as the powerhouse of nutrients. They are called sprouts. They are edible germinated seeds and they are rich in vitamins and minerals. These germinated seeds or sprouts can be prepared by soaking them in water overnight and then later on you can add few spices as per your taste and salt or lemon and you can relish a very really tasty snack. Now let's discuss about the fruits. Fruits are again very important part of our food. We love to have fruits. You might have often heard or read an apple a day keeps doctor away. So fruits are really rich in all kinds of nutrients, particularly vitamins and minerals. Fruits are eaten raw, but don't forget to wash them before eating as they might contain some harmful agents which can cause diseases. Now coming to the next category that are vegetables. We obtain vegetables from various parts of the plant like leafy vegetables. These are spinach, lettuce, collard green, then fruit vegetables, pumpkin and brinjal, then stem vegetables, potato and onion. Coming to the next one that are root vegetables like carrot, radish. Fruits and vegetables are rich in fiber which is essential to keep our digestive system clean. Raw fruits and vegetables or you can say fresh fruits and vegetables are also rich in water content. So their students take plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. Dear children, let's now learn about the food obtained from animals. Children, most of us are fond of non-vegetarian dishes like our traditional cuisine, vazwa. Most of its dishes are made out of meat. Animals provide us variety of food items like milk, meat, honey, eggs. Let us discuss them one by one. First of all, let us discuss about meat. Meat is actually the muscle of animal's body that we have. Meat is obtained from animals like goats, sheep, etc. Meat is really nutritious. It is rich in proteins and fats and certain amount of vitamins and minerals. We obtain food from sea as well that are called seafood like prawns, crabs, squids. Students, you know, meat is rich in fats and proteins and certain amount of minerals and vitamins but they do not contain fiber. Talking about the next category of product that is obtained from the animal is eggs. Eggs are obtained from poultry animals like ducks, geese, turkey, hens, etc. 
Let's now discuss about the another category of food that is obtained from animals that is honey. Honey is produced by honeybees. They suck the nectar from flowers and convert it into the honey and then later on store it in their hives. Quality of honey depends upon the quality of nectar they have taken. Suppose for example if the nectar is collected from the clover leaf clover flowers then the honey will be sweet in taste and if the nectar is collected from neem flowers then the honey will be bitter in taste honey is rich in sugar and various vitamins and minerals honey has medicinal value as well that is why we often see we like to take a spoon of honey in lukewarm water which keeps us healthy and also helps to make our immune system strong let's now discuss about the next category of food item that is obtained from animals that is milk milk is obtained from cows goats buffaloes yorks etc animals that provide us milk they are called milch animals in desert region milk is obtained from camel people living in the cold himalayan regions obtain milk from yaks milk is nutritious it contains fats carbohydrates and many essential nutrients that is why it is also called as almost complete food milk is used to get many food items that means we obtain variety of food items from uh, milk like cream cheese and these are all called as dairy products raw milk can have germs which can be disease causing to make this milk germ free we usually heat it to a certain temperature and then later on cool it down and then store it in sterile or disease free pouches or containers this technique is known as pasteurization which was discovered by louis pasteur dear students we have another category of food that is obtained for our uh, eating purpose which is neither a plant or an animal then this category is known as mushrooms which are actually the edible fungi and they are rich in proteins and vitamin d so dear students this completes our chapter that's all for today thank you Thank you.